What's up, folks? Derek Sarno here, and today we're diving headfirst into the world of weeknight dinners with a recipe that will absolutely knock your socks off. Get ready for the 30-minute veggie-packed pasta dinner that will blow your mind. Trust me, this dish is a total flavor explosion that will have your taste buds doing the happy dance. We're talking about a veggie-packed pasta that's quick, easy, and packed with vibrant colors and wholesome ingredients. It's the kind of family meal that will have them coming back for more. We're about to take your weeknight dinners to a whole new level. For that added extra extra, I'm using the smoked onions and smoked garlic we did in the last video when we made the cold cuts. We're gonna start by bringing a large pot of water to boil for the pasta. While that water's heating up, we're gonna start preparing all the veggies and getting our mise en place, mise en place ready. For our equipment, we're just gonna be using that big pot that we're boiling the pasta in and a second medium sauce pot and then a colander to strain the pasta. Trying to keep this super simple, quick, easy, fast weeknight meal. That extra bowl you see there, I'm just adding all the scraps so I can add to the compost later. It's really helpful to have that extra bowl to keep all the scraps in to really cut down on food waste and make sure you're not wasting anything that's good to eat. So I'm heating up that medium sauce pot, adding a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna add the onions and garlic to this and start to saute. For my no oil friends out there, just don't add the olive oil. I would add some of the pasta water and just steam saute these veggies just as good, lower fat. So we're just gonna saute these for a few minutes, season with a little bit of salt and pepper, Give them a quick stir, make sure nothing's burning, just until translucent. Meanwhile, the queen over there, relaxing, waiting for dinner. She's having a ball. <laughs> so we're gonna add a whole head of broccoli here. I'm just gonna break down the broccoli, cut the florets into bite-sized piece pieces. My same saying goes, cut them the size that your grandmother would eat them. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm also gonna be using the whole stalk, just trimming the skin around the stalk and chopping that up, tossing that right into the pot. We'll be sauteing that off, but we'll be cooking the broccoli into the water. So hold off on adding that to the other pot and just stay tuned and you'll see what we're doing. So this is a great way to get extra veg into weeknight meals for the kids. For me, I don't ever struggle with it because I add a ton of veg to most anything I cook. And this is no exception. This dish is so packed full of veggies. It's delicious. So we'll saute those broccoli stalks up with the onions and garlic. We'll set aside the broccoli florets and then we're gonna start on the courgette or zucchini for my US friends. Now there's plenty of ways to cut zucchini or courgette, whatever you wanna call it. But I'm gonna cut it in half and then cut little matchsticks length so when it cooks it'll soften and bend and wrap around the pasta super nice i could bust out the mandolin and do it on that but i just prefer not to so if you make them a little bit a little bit thicker kind of almost like a crudite size it just allows me to put more vegetables into my mouth in one bite rather than having to fork around the whole plate now this is cooking this is what i love to do this is where it also satisfies my adhd because I can maintain uh, focus and have so many different things going on at once. I don't. I want to make sure that I'm not burning anything on in the pot and chopping up veggies on the side here while watching that and also boiling the water. Now you can prep up all these veggies ahead of time. Nothing wrong with that. You could even do it the day before. Have all the mise en place veggies cut and ready to go. So you're just whipping this together for dinner the next night or the night of, whatever. But I like to just jam it out in one session stand by that cutting board right over the stove and pump it out. This is how I like to cook, it's, it's fantastic. So we're gonna be adding the lettuce to this. I have two heads of lettuce. I just had torn some apart for some sandwiches I made earlier, but two heads of lettuce I'm gonna be adding directly to this dish. Much better than just making a salad, I'm just adding the salad right to it. And lettuce is amazing, it really does. You can pack, it probably got two more heads of lettuce into this dish and had even more veggies. But I love adding some of the fresh lettuce, whether it's romaine or gem lettuce, any kind of greens. This is a super 
eye-catching, eye-popping green dish we're making. I set all those veggies aside and then I'm adding the pasta right to the water. You can do it TikTok style, drop it in the middle, let it spiral around the side, whatever you want to do. It's your kitchen. So I'm opening the package of green beans at the 300 gram pack of already snipped green beans, fine green beans. I'm adding the cherry tomatoes right to the sauce pot. You can dice those, you can have them. I just like to leave them whole sometimes. I'm just trying to make this quick and easy. And we're gonna saute all that up in the pot. I like to add pepper. So I'm adding a good amount of cracked black, black, cracked black pepper to the dish. I mean, we're only seasoning this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add some of the dill here I had left over. So about two tablespoons of fresh dill going in. It's not overpowering. I'm not the hugest fan of dill, but I do like a little bit of, so it's nice and subtle. And then we're gonna also add the green beans to the boiling water. So once that pasta is boiling about halfway through, I'm gonna add the green beans right to it. And that's gonna cook it perfectly by the time the pasta is done. So I'm gonna chop up the fresh herbs, the parsley, the dill. I'm gonna be adding that to the top of the lettuce here. So if you see, we have the lettuce on the side, we have the broccoli on the side. We're gonna be adding those in different stages because I want everything to be vibrant in color, crunchy, al dente, not mushy and brown. It's super important to me that everything tastes fresh and bursting with flavor. So I'll be cooking that pasta, giving it a stir. The green beans are still in there. They're looking good, they're popping green. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh lemon. That's really gonna add some sunshine to this dish and really make it all stand out together. That little bit of acidity goes a long way. And I'm only adding the zest. I won't add the juice. I'll save the juice for maybe I'll have a cocktail later on, maybe not. Testing the pasta. I know it's not done already because you can tell it's, it's not wiggling around enough. I'm just going to add that right back in, get a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to add the broccoli right to the water. So about three more minutes, four more minutes, I know that pasta is going to be done. I'll add the broccoli, bring it back to a boil, and then that should be enough to cook the broccoli. The green beans will be already cooked enough. What the? Somebody's texting me. Don't they know I'm working here? I had about a cup of frozen peas left in the freezer. Might as well just add those in, get in the greens where I can. Add a touch more olive oil, giving it a stir. The pasta is just about done now. In the restaurant, we used to throw it against the wall to see if it was stick, and then I'd know it done. But here, I'm not going to do that. It's my house. So I'll be tasting it. It's perfect. I'm going to add a, shut off the water, add some of the pasta water right to the sauce pot, and give it a stir. I'll add a couple more ladles of the pasta water and then strain the pasta dry in a colander and then we'll be adding the whole pasta, the whole <laughs> vegetable mixture right to this pasta. But first, I'm going to add some of this Wicked Kitchen garlic and herb nooch. Now if you have any regular nooch at home, this is perfect. Add about a half a cup. You could supplement by adding about a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, and just a pinch of Italian seasoning if you don't have the Wicked Kitchen one. It just adds that extra flavor. So then, once the pasta is strained, I'm gonna make sure that that veggies are just are super hot. So I'm just putting it on the heat quick while I stir in the lettuce right to the hot, piping hot linguine. So that is going to help wilt the lettuce and then we'll add the rest of the veggies, stir it all in, and there we go. Super fast, super delicious weeknight meal. And you know, to be honest with you guys, I had this on a Friday night, so whether you call that a weeknight or a weekend, I think it's technically a weeknight. This is the meal. It's meant to be for a family. I usually, Friday night over here is guys night, so I have a couple of the guys come over. I ended up only having one friend coming over. Yes, I do have a couple friends over here. And we just chowed down on this. And then I probably, I think I ate it for like the next three or four meals. It definitely serves a good four to six hungry people. Huge pot of pasta. You can't go wrong. All these veggies, amazing. 
I'm a huge fan of black pepper, so I add a lot. You know, don't feel like you have to add this much. But if you like black pepper like I do, then add as much as you want. I found this dish to be super delicious, refreshing. That lemon zest came right through. Little subtle hint of dill. Black pepper, always good for me in pasta. I love it. I love a good comforting pasta dish. This is amazing. I hope you get a chance to make it. The video is coming to an end now. I'll end it with the beautiful Miss Frankie, Miss America. She's here for me, for you, for everybody. Anyways, I'm going to plate this up, stuff my face, and get on with my evening. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great week.